Hello friends, my name is Arpita Karwa and in this video I am going to address a very important question. Is PhD mandatory to become a professor? If you google this question you will come across various websites flashing the same news with a headline something like this. The headline clearly mentions that now a person can become a professor without net or even a PhD degree. This might be a cause of worry for a lot of students who are preparing for UGC net or for PhD entrance exams. And it would be more disheartening for students who have recently completed their PhD or just qualified UGC net. Because now they might think that their degree is a waste. If you too are worried about the recent changes in the field of UGC net and PhD, then worry not. Because in this video, I am going to burst all your myths and clear all your doubts. But before I begin, I request you to kindly hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any updates in the field of UGC net examination. Though I'll try to cover all your doubts in this video, still if you have any other questions left, by the time I finish this video, I would love to see those questions in the comment section below. Now let's first talk about the minimum eligibility for the post of assistant professor. In order to understand this, you must know that the eligibility criteria is different for the case of university and college right now. Now, for those of you who must be wondering what is the difference between university and college here, I am going to quickly explain the difference. In India, we have two types of government universities, central universities and state universities. All these state universities have their own campus which has different departments and they have number of college affiliated to them. So there are two things, St any state university has their own campus which has different departments and at the same time these universities have affiliated colleges associated to them. Now as a student I have an option to either take admission directly in the university campus or I can even study in one of the colleges affiliated to these universities. For example, I can either pass DU entrance exam and choose to study in proper Delhi University campus or I can choose to study in Hindu college or Lady Sri Ram college. These colleges are affiliated to Delhi University. So even if I study in these colleges, at the end of my degree course, I shall receive degree from Delhi University. Now you must be wondering why the hell am I explaining you this? The reason is simple. I want to explain you the current eligibility criteria to become a professor in India. And the eligibility criteria is different for both university and college. In case of university, be it central or state, the minimum eligibility criteria is to clear MA English and also have a PhD degree. Students with UGC net are not eligible for the post of assistant professor in a university. You must be wondering why is this so? There are three reasons behind this. Number one, CBSE started conducting net exams somewhere in 1990s. Any person who became a professor after doing PhD before 1990s doesn't have net certificate because net did not even exist. Now if government makes net compulsory, then such professors will have objection. They will feel that in spite of their experience, their job is in danger. Number two, government wants that there should be sufficient age gap between professor and a student. Suppose a student clears UGC net during his MA. He becomes eligible to become a professor in a university. In such a scenario, he would be just one year elder to his students, right? Though I don't see it as a problem, but our education ministry does. And number three, Getting a job in university depends on the API score and a PhD degree will straight away give you 30 points in the API table, taking your API score to new heights. Before we move on to the next point, here is something that I want to share. For those of you who are preparing for English literature, MA entrance, PhD entrance, PGT, TGT or doing MA English from IGNU, we have just released separate courses for you guys as well. 1000 plus students enroll in our courses every year and we ensure we help them clear their dream exams. So please go and check out our website. The link of our website and the courses are given in the description box below. For more information related to all the courses that we have to offer, feel free to shoot your queries on the WhatsApp number displayed on your screen and me and my team will be more than happy to assist you. 
You can also listen to free demo lectures before you decide to buy our courses so that you can familiarize yourself with the course material beforehand. Now, as I mentioned in this video earlier, in India, we have two separate qualification criteria for university and college. As we just saw that in case of university, we need MA and PhD. The case differs in case of getting a job in a college. In order to become an assistant professor in college, you don't need a PhD degree. Instead, you just need to have a MA degree and you have to qualify UGC net exam. This criteria is even valid for colleges affiliated to universities like Hindu College or Lady Sri Ram College. So in order to summarize all of this, let me give you a simple example. If you want to teach in English department of Delhi University, as in the main campus of Delhi University, you need to have a PhD degree. Whereas if you want to teach in any private college in Delhi or even a government college like Hindu college, which is affiliated to Delhi University, you just need to have MA English with NET. Also, before I move ahead and talk about the news article that was circulated all over the internet recently, please remember that the minimum eligibility criteria that I just mentioned in the video stands true today. The information provided to you is as per the latest UGC net guidelines, so you need not worry. Now let's jump and look at the news article. The title might look very tempting to a lot of people who want to become professor but hasn't cleared net or have enrolled in the PhD program. But the truth is hidden in the main article. So if you go through the main article, it basically talks about two points. We will soon look at both the points. But before that, let me give you a disclaimer. The article clearly states that UGC has prepared a draft and send it for approval, which means that the points which are I'm going to talk about in this article are not yet approved. They are just ideas that UGC has floated. No decision has been taken on these two ideas. Now, before we move ahead and talk about these two ideas, there's a very, very simple message that I want to uh, give to all my followers and viewers. If you're looking for MA entrance, PhD entrance, UGC net, TGT, PGT exam update, then please follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We are regularly posting important information related to these exams. Moreover, we also share quick revision videos on our Insta and Facebook page every Wednesday where we help you revise important topics in just 60 seconds seconds. So now let's talk about point number one. UGC says that they would be soon creating a new post named professor of practice. Just like we have assistant professors, we will soon see new teachers being recruited in universities and colleges who will be called professors of practice. How will these professors of practice be different from assistant professors? In case a person wants to become assistant professor, we just saw in this video that the candidate must have net or PhD depending upon college or university is applying. Unlike these, professors of practice would be people who neither have net nor have PhD. You must be wondering then why will any university hire such a person? Think about your question again and I'm sure that my audience is intelligent enough to answer it. Still unsure? Let me give you a real life scenario. Suppose you are a student who is doing masters in management. You have faculty members who have qualified net and have PhD degrees too. But given an option, will you like if great industrialists like Steve Jobs and Bill Gates take a few classes every week and teach you management lessons themselves? Knowing that Steve Jobs and Bill Gates are college dropouts, will you still like to be taught by them? In fact, most of you would die to attend lectures where Steve Jobs and Bill Gates give you practical life tips in order to tell you how to manage a business well. This is exactly what UGC is trying to do through professors of practice. By enrolling such people as professors, they will provide practical learnings to students. And you will be surprised to know that this is already famous in IITs. And all these IITs are already having such people enrolled. In IITs, you will find a few professors who don't have required degrees, but have adequate industrial experience in their field. And that's the reason why IITs have hired them. This is based on the premise that real practical knowledge surpasses all degrees. 
Before moving on to the next point, I would like to again focus on the point that this is just a proposal given by UGC and this needs to be approved by higher authority before it is implemented. Also, please note that even if this new post of professors of practice will be implemented, it will not be a replacement of assistant professors. In fact, these people would be teaching along with the assistant professors to make learning more practical. Therefore, you should not believe that net and PhD will become obsolete. And now finally, we are going to talk about the second idea mentioned in the news article. This idea revolves around PhD entrance. Till now, even if you have cleared NET or GRF, you still need to give PhD entrance exam in universities to enroll yourself in PhD program. As per the new idea proposed by UGC, in case of PhD, 60% seats will be reserved for candidates who have cleared NET or GRF and only 40% students will be admitted in PhD program through entrance exams conducted by that university or college. This simply means that the importance of NET and GRF will rise in the coming future. NET and GRF will become a sure shot way to get into the top universities of India for PhD. If you found this video helpful, then please like this video and also share it with other fellow aspirants. If you have any questions, any doubts or if you want me to make videos on any other topic, then feel free to put that in the comment section below. I will fondly read those comments and will also reply to them. That's it from my side for this video lecture. I will meet you very soon with the next video. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarva.com.